Austin Jones to kick. Rennell Hall to receive. And we've got playoff football here in Houston. Hall tried to get it to the outside, just shy of the 25-yard line. And that's where we bring out Luis Perez, Joey, a player that they are hoping in this offense today has that breakout performance in the playoff And this game. is his fourth start. And in his three previous starts, they put up two of their top three point outputs of the season. So they feel different with Perez at quarterback. He's a great leader. Coach couldn't say enough great things about Perez and what he's done since he's been here. Thank you, thank you. It's more so about the coach. Yeah. So Devion Smith in the backfield. He was held out last weekend just to be healthy for today. 180, First and 10 at the 25. Play fake for Perez. Runs away from the defender, and that's what he can do. Perez has the feet and a gain of six on first down. Jack Heflin pressured it. Here you go. Pistol, dice left, Colt five split, F bluff, I want to. Chuck Long, one of the offensive coordinators, said he's the best, has the best work ethic of any quarterback I've been around. 180, hunt. Second and four, the give to Smith right up the middle. They're gonna have to get that ground game going, Joey. Hey. Let's go Balboa, Balboa. Balboa, on the ball, Balboa, 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 Balboa. Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Early third and two. Stay on the ground. First down, Arlington. That's a way to get it. Devion Smith running hard. The product out of Michigan. And how about those big guys up front getting that first down, Joe? And this is a great first down and a confidence builder for this offensive line. It's third and short. Let's prove that we can be physical. Coach Stute said we got to be more physical against these guys. There's not a better way to show physicality than a third and short running down their throat. Here we go. Sit up. An 80. With hook. Smith again off the left side. Big fellas for Smith. Big hole, big game. Arlington moving it on the ground. William Likely, Eugene Harris with the tackle down to Eric. Guys, one thing to watch out for, left tackle George Moore not available today. So you're seeing Willie Beavers in there. Backup tackle, he just played really well. Just sealed that edge there on the side. How excited is Eric right now? <laughs> little offensive line play up front, they're running the ball well. The offensive line credit. No Letty Brown today for Arlington, so Brian Harrion, who had a nice game last week, is in the game. Perez, quick throw to the outside. Tyler Barnes tries to get away to no avail. Likely and Beckett combine on the tackle. And here's the kind of situations you want to stay out of if you're Arlington. Their offense that has struggled this season, struggled to put points on the board. So you have to be good on first down. You have to get positive yards to allow for your run game to be a part of the play Gun. call. Now at a the second and long, you figure passer. it's going to be a pass. Split, X glance. I want to go. Three. Sit up. 180. Where's Hunt? That's the give to Harry and off the left side. They've been successful running on this first drive. That'll give them five, getting that loss back plus two. Heflin on the tackle. Wristband 30, 11 personnel. Wristband 34. Dime, Tato, split, five calls. Dime, Tato, split, five calls. F sale, watch out across X dagger. I want any. So this go. drive alone, five no, runs, one pass, third and seven. Let's go, let's go. Let's get some man-to-man -man coverage here out of Houston. He's told us hey, you third down. Let's go, play some man-to-man -man no, coverage. Time out, time out, time out. Hey, you can't be talking too much. Two man, they were going two man. And we should go empty. Uh, uh, that was two man. You saw that? Yes. Oh, a lot of cover too so far. Yeah. 
Can I get some water? Water. You know, you're talking about Stoops pregame. And even this week, he's like, you know, we're too fond huh? of hurting ourselves. That's true. Defense coordinator Brian Stewart told us third downs, they're going two oh, man. Yeah, oh. They came out in two man. It caused Perez to take a look and call a timeout. Let's go on turbo, on turbo. Okay, uh, two jet nuts on turbo, ready? Said they were going to change call. things up defensively to perhaps give Perez a different look. As JP. Joey noted, it worked. Hey. It JP. Third and JP. eight. Turbo, it up. Perez looks left over the middle. There's Sal Canella, the team's leading receiver, and that was good patience at a quarterback to find Canella, and that'll be a first down Arlington. And it was two man, we just mentioned that. Sal Canella had man-to-man -man coverage, but he chips the defensive end, and when he chips, his coverage man loses him. Steven Den Denmark came in the game to guard Canella on third down man-to-man. -man. He chipped, he lost, and Canella comes across, gets oh, wide open versus man-to-man. -man. Canella, fascinating story. I'll get into him in just a bit. And his love go. of something other than football. But Turbo, first things Turbo. first. First and ten. Perez takes a shot to the right. Good throw. Ruled incomplete. Intended for Vaughn. Raleigh Tejada on the coverage. I like the aggressive mindset. From, from Arlington here. We know they're pretty good on defense. We know this offense has struggled. Be aggressive early in this game. They've been beat twice by this Houston team. The only way to win this game is come out, be aggressive on offense, and play good defense. And early on this first drive, this is a terrific first drive. If you're Arlington, they have to pay it off and get points. And y'all take that one step further, not necessarily field goal points. They got to get in the end zone. That has been their bugaboo. A quick pop pass to Caleb Vanderesh. Vanderesh trying to get outside. And we've already seen the creativity out of John Hayes and Chuck Long, brought down by Emmanuel Ellerby. Wristband 59. Wristband 59. Quad in the huddle. Quad, quad, quad. Hurry up. Listen up. Hey, listen up. Hey, dummy Daytona. Dummy Daytona. Hey, gun tempting right tight. 83. Maestro, FL. Dummy Daytona. Turbo, ready? Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Maestro. Gotta go. Daytona. Sit up. Turbo, sit up. Third and three. Perez tries to sneak out. Keeps his eyes downfield. End zone. Touchdown, Arlington. No play. Javante Payton. And how about that for the Renegades to get this playoff game started? And you ask how can Arlington pull off this win after losing twice to Houston in this season? Well, that's how. Be aggressive on the offensive side and your quarterback Perez making plays. They couldn't have been any more effusive in their praise okay, of Perez. Mm -hmm. I do X hammer, Y hammer return. Look at my cigar. I want it. And his football no, smarts. They were no, waiting no, over there. for that breakout game. Remember, in the XFL, we don't kick go. extra points. Here you go. Sit up. We get one, two, or three. They're going to go for two. Here you go. 180. Four receivers top of the screen. Louise is going to go to the left. It's tipped and incomplete. And a touchdown for the Renegades to get this thing started. Max Borgie did not play last week. They held him out for rest. He'll return the opening kick across the 32-yard line. And Brandon Silvers, who also was held out last week, will get the start for the Houston Roughnecks. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's go. Start out front. Here we go. I'm on the trips way. left, same Broncos. Oh, Owen, ready? They employ what they call the Mike Leach offense. Go! Hunt, hunt! Borgie situated to his left. It's going to be Borgie. Makes the first man miss on first down. Tries to cut it back, and that was a good individual effort. And a pick up a five. Left, hap. Trips left, hap. Red F adjust, Z snag. 
Red F adjust, Z snag. F adjust, on one, ready. Out motion. Go. Hunt, hunt. Pauline in the backfield, slips out, silvers, keeps his eyes up, pass tipped. T.J. Barnes there, and that brings up third and five. Great coverage by Darnell Sankey in the middle. You could see Silvers is looking to the middle of the field. Linebacker covers the route he wants to go to. He tries to bring it back down to reload, then they get a hand on it. So a great start for the Arlington defense after the offense score to bring up a third down for Houston, first possession of the game. Winner advances to the XFL Championship. Go. Hunt, hunt. Third and five. Silvers out of the backfield. That's a big play on third. Big miss. Bryson Aline, he's quick. Gain of 23. Move to change Houston. Love the play call back out of the backfield. They crisscross the defenders. You can see there's a collision out wide where the defender not, runs down, bumps into the safety, and then it's wide open. Big play for Houston offense. They've got just about everything in the backfield. Borgie the starter, all lanes, a shifty guy. We'll see Jeremy Cox, their big bulldog in the backfield, had a big game last week. We expect to see him play throughout the day. McDonald got the start last week. He's their runner, pulled it from Borgie, tackled by Powell for a gain of one. And how important is that stop by Powell? We know what kind of athlete Paul McDonald is. We know they want to bring him in when it's time to run the ball. And sometimes it's going to be man-to-man -man with your block. safety out there against McDonald. Can you make a play? Joe Powell early on makes the play they need. Hey, that, end, that ends crashing right away. Here we go. Here we go. Go! Hunt, hunt! Silvers back in the game. Silvers downfield. Good back shoulder catch. Trevon Salter. Oh, they ruled it incomplete. Could not hang on, Joey, once they hit the turf. But Tavon Salter thought he had a big one. Yeah, and I was with you, Matt. I thought it was a terrific catch. You can see as he rolls over, hits the ground, you have to finish the catch through the fall, just doesn't hold on to it when he rolls over. So now third and nine, ball up to 40. Go! Hunt, hunt. Already converted on third and five. Pressure, Silvers gets out of the pocket. He's brought down just short of the first down. Bruce Hector tripped him up. But he gets enough to make it a decision, and it looks like Houston's going for this, which I agree with. You're inside the 35-yard line. He gets go, go, just go, enough, go. you know, a couple more yards. Go for it, be aggressive early in this game. So Silver stays in at quarterback. Fourth and three. Go! Hunt, hunt. They're gonna throw. Pass across the middle, it's incomplete. And how about this start for the Renegades? They score on their first possession, hold Houston on fourth down, and they're gonna get the ball back, feeling pretty good about themselves, Joe. Not just get the ball back, but after going 10 plays and getting a touchdown, now they get the stop they need. This is what Arlington need to pull off this upset. They start with the ball at the 20, Cole McDonald back at quarterback. First time we've seen right. Jeremy Cox in the game, who had a big one last week. McDonald, the play fake, leads Cedric Bird too much, and it falls incomplete. If you listen to LRB, Matt, this is when the game actually starts. On your first drive, you're on a motion, uh, you're hyped up, you just came out, and that's the way you play through the first series. And then once you get through that, the second series is when the game actually starts, because you settle in, and now you have to be mistake-free fo mistake football. Go! Houston thinks their two-quarterback system an advantage for them. You saw Silvers over at the sidelines. He started. Cole McDonald played well last week. That was Max Borgie in a gain of four brought down by Will Hill. 
And we talked about Houston's Pike. defense. Blue Arlington pretty good defensively Z also. Pike, blue X wall Z out. Where's Chad? No, I'm gonna go. That's me. That was big right there for you. Yeah. So I just seen that guy coming. I knew we had. So Silvers comes back in third and here we go, six. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go. Hot, hot. Gets it off in time to Bird, and that'll be right at the change. They're gonna move it first down, gain of six. Trayvon LeBlanc brings him down. Nice conversion there for Silvers. A little two minute mark here in the first quarter. Go! Hot, hot! Cox up the middle. Cox, an interesting story. He was actually in Arlington's camp during training camp, caught, had still been working out. Houston then picks him up. Last week was his first game. Goes for 21 carries, 120 yards, and a touchdown. A.J. Smith told us of the running back out of Old Dominion, quote, Go. I've been waiting for a guy oh, like Jeremy Cox on this roster. He's got it. Silvers. Big hit. Arlene popped by face. Will Hill out of Florida. <laughs> And these safeties from Arlington have been near the line of scrimmage and they're making plays. They're coming up to hit you when they show up. Hill shows up and, and that sends a message. It not only sets up a third and long, but that sends a message. Our safeties are going to be down in the box. Now, the question is, if you're, if you're Houston's offense, can you start to take those shots down the field because those safeties are so aggressive? Now third and 14. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Arlington's just going to run it with Arlene. And for the second consecutive possession, Joey, we see Donald Payne, who's back. Big addition for Arlington to be back healthy this week. But another stop for this Renegades defense. Yeah, and this Renegades defense realizes, okay, we have a six-point lead. We have to play from ahead because our offense is not great. They're not going to bring us back, so we have to maintain this lead, and they're playing like it. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Couldn't get the snap off in time. All right, so before we left, Houston actually called a timeout with one second left in the first quarter because they wanted to punt with the wind. So we're not in the second quarter yet. We are still in the first. That's how Joey adds yardage to his drives. Go with the wind. It showed you how windy it is in here that you would burn a timeout just to punt exactly with the wind. Right. It is a really windy day here in Houston. So the re-punts. Will they take advantage? Rennell Hall pushed back to inside his 20. So the answer to that is yes. Hall across the 30. Makes a few men miss. Can he get to the sideline? Hall, what a block. And Rennell Hall as a flag comes in late. It was a punt of 52 and a return of 25. Yeah, that's a great block a few years ago. Now it's a penalty. It was Javante Payton. Number three of the receiver. Uh, three? Yeah, it was ahead of the run, so we're going to go from west to spot. Blindside block. Okay. Personal foul. Illegal blindside block, receiving team number three. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. It's first and 10. Chris Coy. That's the end of the first quarter. Our referee, that is the end of the first quarter, but we are going to stay here and I'm going to bring in our VP of officiating, Dean Blandino, for the first time, who's been so great throughout the season. Dean, Joey kind of hit on it there. He said something interesting. He goes, a couple years ago, that hit is legal, but walk us through why that was flagged. Great point. That was a legal play several years ago, but it was changed. That's a blindside block. That's that blow up block when you're going against the grain and that defender really can't protect himself. So now that's a foul. But but Matt, I can't believe you didn't call out Lee Majors in the box with Danny and Jerry. And, and come on, the $6 million man? You gotta give him a shout out. You, you know, we were talking about that <laughs> during the commercial break. I'm like, do I want to steal an astronaut's thunder for Lee Majors, a $6 million man. That's why I'm glad you did it for me. The, you know, just a little shout out. Don't steal the thunder, just a little bit. I mean, my man's going to deep outer space. That is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's going to be with us throughout the afternoon. First down for Arlington. 
And that's Devion Smith. How about that? Keeps his legs turning for a gain of nine. I see Devion Smith comes off the field. And it was an ankle injury that he had early in the season, and, and the reason he didn't play last week was the ankle. Hopefully, it, it's not the same ankle, and he can come back in this game. We'll have Eric check on his status in a minute, so it'll be Brian Herring now. We Remember, no Go. Letty Brown for the Renegades. He was Ready. probable. We're done. Second and short. Herring follows his lead blocker. What a play defensively led by William Likely. But Harry and able to lower the shoulder and get the first down. Joey likely was able to stand him up, but Harry and kept the legs moving to get the hard yardage. Yeah, and again, you're seeing these defensive backs playing near the line of scrimmage. Eventually, whether it's Houston, whether it's Arlington, they're going to start taking these shots down the field because these defensive backs are making these kind of plays. Offensively, you say, okay, you want to make a play at the line of scrimmage, we're going to take you deep. Intended to Khalif Bryce, who's injured. Lady, we're caught. Still in the backfield, Perez takes a shot downfield with the win. Has Peyton wide open. How about Arlington? 58 yards. And the Renegades make it a statement here on the road. I was just wondering when they would take their shot. Likely, you just saw him made a play at the line of scrimmage, and then you also seen him get beat deep. Offensively, you see those safeties, those corners making plays at the line of scrimmage, go deep. I tell you what, this is the league of opportunity, the XFL oh, and the Renegades are taking every advantage of their opportunity here in the playoffs. What a start. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Kelly Bryant Let's go, in for the oh, two-point yeah. conversion. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Time ball, set. Vaughn's motions in the backfield. Harrion end around. Peyton, who just yeah. scored. I'm telling you what. Yeah. We have a story yeah. developing in Houston. Yeah. Joey, four and six on the season. Some wondered how the four and six gets you in the postseason. Oh, yeah. No, if there's good. anything no, yeah. in your playbook that you haven't shown all season long, it's time to bring it out. That's it. I just mentioned, these defensive backs are making a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage. Likely just made the play, the one before this play. Offensive coordinator sees that and says, we're going to go deep. We're going to stretch these guys out, get these guys away from the line of scrimmage. Wide open, great throw by Perez. He's going to say, let's give Perez a little bit of credit there for how good that throw was. 58 yards. Acquired from Vegas in week seven of the season. Coaches say that he's got the best work they've ever seen. His great story, Perez. Didn't play high school football. Played at community college, then at Texas A&M Commerce. And he's got the visiting Renegades up 14-0. Borgie lets it bounce, takes it to the 34-yard line, down to Eric. Jay, it wasn't enough. You did 60-plus. You had to get the conversion, too. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, we've been really trying to call that play for a little minute. We've been holding on to it for a while, so I'm excited we was able to get it off the chart. What was it, coverage? Was it you just felt good? You said you were waiting on it. Why did you call it right there? Uh, as far as the extra or the touchdown? The, the conversion. The conversion, oh, you know, it was it was all, well, they had us in man, so it was honestly the perfect look. As long as everybody, you know, do their job on offense, we was going to make the play happen, so. Appreciate you, big dog. All right, Matt. How about Matt Klang going sunglasses there on the sidelines? It's bright, man. It's like your future, man. I got to have shades <laughs> on. <laughs> Cole McDonald back in at quarterback. All right. Rides Borgie up the middle. There's a big chunk for Houston across to Arlington territory. Gain of 14 brought down by Will Hill. 
So Joey, you're down 14 nothing. You're seven and a half point favorite. You've beaten this team twice by an average of 12 and a half. You're probably stunned right now. What do you got to do? Well, what you got to do is it's only the second quarter and there's plenty of time left in this game. This was the fear when you talk to the Houston coaches, you beat a, a team twice in a season and you assume things will go the oh. same way they went the oh. first two times. And that often does not happen. <laughs> McDonald hesitated over the middle. Good catch, Deontay Burnett. Tipped pass by Donald Payne. You saw McDonald bring it down once, hit his man in another big gain, a gain of nine. And AJ Smith told us that McDonald can run all the plays in the playbook. There are certain plays that are just for him but he can run them all, and Silvers can only run the plays that Silvers can run. So they're splitting up these plays by which oh, quarterback they have in the game. Right. A.J. Smith told us this week he loves the reps he got out of McDonald last week, but that one way over Tavon Salter's head. I like to think, you know, it was second and short. So you're figuring you can get the first down on third down, maybe even on fourth down, so you take a shot down the field H -R -H -R Denver on second and short always. Especially with hey, big Jeremy one. Cox in the backfield. Go! Right. That's who they give it to. There's Cox bowls his way for a first down. Brought down by Will Hill. Tiffany? Hey guys, what this Arlington defense is showing Houston is a lot of cover four, cover two, cover one. The only difference is they're doing a better job this time around of mixing things up. So wide receivers coach Peyton Barty told me that we've got to get out of our own way, throw it when we need to throw it, run it when we need to run it. It's as simple as that. Tiffany, thank you. That is why that old adage, it's tough to beat a team three times. And right now, bobble snap. Good job by McDonald. I'll tell you what, that is good presence out of the quarterback. Okay, you go. Had some drama in the backfield. Is he able to get five out That's of it? That's me. I dropped it. Left H fly Broncos punch. H fly. Let's go, let's go. Go! Hard. Second and five. That's Arlene. Arlene, he's tell you what, he's quick. And that'll be enough for a first down brought down by Powell after a gain of five. For those of you who would like to watch the SkyCast of tonight's game with SkyCan as the primary angle, plus replays from the main broadcast, that version is available right now on ESPN+. Plus. Do they get our voices when they go watch it on no, ESPN+. We, Plus? No, remember we did a megacast for a playoff, and they said we were talking well, to Well, then I would say don't go to ESPN+. Plus. <laughs> go! Joey, right. consummate company guy. Play fake McDonald, quick shot to the right side. Good execution, Travell Harris. Spotted just shy, gain a nine. And that's the second play on this drive, but they've tried to get the running back out the backfield. The first one overthrown, that one right on the money. And it's clear A.J. Smith has seen something with McDonald. He's been in this entire drive, Joe. Go! Second and one, Cox. Basically had to stutter step his way to a few for the first down. Cole McDonald brings an, an athletic aspect to this offense. In the 2020 NFL Draft, he was the fastest quarterback at 4.58 and had the highest vertical jump at 35 inches. He's a tremendous athlete, and that's why they like keeping him in the game. He's like having a blocker because the defensive end and the linebackers have to respect his ability to hang on to the ball as he's faking it to the running back. So it makes them hesitate a step and opens up that running. He, he's big. We were, we were down there pregame, and you look at it, he's like, that, that's a big kid out there. Go! Right. There's a flag on the play. Looks as if they didn't get the Offense. snap off in time. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Joey, all penalties drive coaches Play. nuts, but Strong I'd say delay height. games. Y on H fly blue F will X wall. Strong left Y on tight H fly blue F will X wall. The delay a game has to drive them nuts. Let's go, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Go! All right. Borgie out of the backfield. McDonald turned his eyes that way. He's going to pull it down. Now throw. That's what Cole McDonald can do. 
Salter the catch, brought down by Powell. Gain of 11. And I think McDonald realized he, he missed Deontay Burnett wide open in the middle of the field. Sees him, doesn't cut it loose, but he's a good enough athlete to still stay alive. You'll, you'll see Burnett come across the field. Wide open, still has a touchdown, but McDonald, because he's such a good athlete, can still stay alive and make a play. So now second Go! and four. Hard. McDonald gonna keep it. McDonald lowers his shoulder, brings it to the one. Powell's been active in a gain of five at the tenth play of this drive. You mentioned the size of McDonald. You can see he, he's tough to bring down. He's a big quarterback. He's stout. We sat there and we talked about it when we're on the field before the game. Surprisingly thick. And you can see how thick he is and he's tough to bring down. It was close here. So first and goal. Goal! Houston tries to answer. Arlington stands up. And a good stop by that defensive front. Jeremy Second and goal. Stopped by a host of Renegades. Arlington said they want to be more physical. These are the kind of plays you get to prove that physicality. You're trying to run it between the tackles to get one yard. Who's the tougher team? Darnell Sankey was the tougher player there. Cox remains in the backfield. No. Right. Second and goal. Cox again. Cox, touchdown. Right 12 plays, 61 yards. All Cole McDonald, Cox, who had the big game last week, just his second game on the roster, makes it a one-score game. And you just ask, how does Houston get back in this game after getting down 14 points? Well, that's how you do it. You get back to doing what you do best. It's running the football and being more physical. Houston, 8 of 34 on conversion attempts this year. That's worst in the league. Here going for two. Go! Oh. McDonald left, throws. Did he get across? He says yes. Two-point conversion to Deontay Let's go. Burnett is good. Man, that's close. Joe, we got ourselves a ball game 14-8. We got a ball game because Arlington is having a terrific first quarter and first part of this second quarter. They've been outstanding on the offensive side. Austin Jones to kick to Joe Powell. Let's it bounce. There's the flag. We show you that kick box for a reason. And that Joe, one thing I love about this league. It doesn't is matter. Play. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, yeah, the ball didn't stay past the 20, so we're going to be. All right. So it's just illegally kicking. Illegally kicking, kicking team. The ball did not remain beyond the 20 yard line. The ball will be spotted 15 yards from the kick. It's first and 10. Dean Blandino kicking is a premium in this league. If we're just getting some first time playoff viewers, explain the kickoff rule. No question, the ball has to make the 20 and stay beyond the 20 until it's touched by the return team. So great job by the Dallas returner letting it go and bounce short of the 20. And that'll, that'll put the ball 15 yards from the spot of the kick. So Dallas will have tremendous, tremendous field goal, field position. So Arlington, yeah, as Dean said. I mean, when they said, put that roll together, they really I want mean, to make it hurt. Look at I that. I mean, Dean threw one in there that really hurts. They're already in Houston territory. Good for Arlington, the Devion Smith back in the game. Can Perez take advantage? Quick fake, quick screen. Houston read it, great defense. And a loss of three led by Ellerby, who's having a ball game. Lock and Look at that. Arlington, this is the second hey, game scoring 14 points in the Broncos first half. Two, I'm on, ready. Did so against Houston in week two. Ellerby active, five tackles, two Good tackles up. for loss. Brady with Hunt. It's Harriet following the blockers. Good cut by Harriet. What a run. Caleb Vander S sprung that for 17. And 
Harrion's been effective. I mean, how great does John Hayes and Chuck Long feel calling these plays right now? First down, they get stopped for no gain, but they still have the confidence to go back to the run game on second and long because the offensive line up front is doing an outstanding job offensively right now for Arlington. We haven't seen them click this well all season long. Go. Joe, isn't Gotta that just go. it? It was confidence. And Bob Stoops said that. If we can just not shoot ourselves in the Turn foot, it we can gain some confidence and play. Perez has confidence, shoots it over the middle to Lawan Winningham, and Perez continues to deal, gain of 15. I think Perez is eight of nine right now and already over 100 yards, has two touchdowns. I don't know that Perez could play any better than he's playing. When you talked about bringing him in, and this is his fourth start, he looks like a guy that is now very comfortable in this offense. I mean, that's as big a throw as you're gonna get on a Jane A. Harris who leads the league in interceptions. Yes. Sit up. 180. Where's the hunt? Perez continues to deal. Takes a shot. Has a receiver. Caught. Touchdown, Arlington. Brandon Arcanada. And what do we have happening in Houston? Luis Perez, Joey in his life has bowled 12, 300 games. Right now, he's pitching a perfect one in football. <laughs> that's it, that's the shot right there. Score is clear, score is clear. We want the break. Score is clear, yep, and TV after the try. Yeah, that was the shot right there. So Dean Blandino says touchdown holds. They'll go for two. Yes. Sit up. 180. What's up? Vanderesh reverse. He's gonna throw. Penalties down. Vaughn's no, didn't no. have a shot. I don't know. John Holding. Offense number 55. The penalties decline. The try is unsuccessful. Right, so Timeout on the field. The difference of Luis yeah, Perez is coming one. over. Nine of 10, 121 yards and three touchdowns, seven different targets, but here's the number I want you to listen to. This is the first game with more than two offensive touchdowns for the Renegades all season, Joey. And you can see that 14.6 points per game is the worst in the XFL. Their offense has struggled, but they've been different with the Luis Perez here, and you can see it in this game playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. Joey, they only had five touchdowns on the season coming in. They have three tonight. Borgie to the 32, down to Eric. Coach Long, you guys are scoring points in bunches right here. What's different? What's going clicking offensively? Well, we had a nice plan going in, and we're executing and making it work. Guys and, are getting uh, open. <laughs> yeah, uh, Luis has had a, had a nice day so far, but we got a long way to go. You know, that's coach speak, obviously. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Our guys are catching the ball well, too. Appreciate you, Coach. Chuck Long, quarterback, Iowa. I love what when a coach tells you it's coach, like he knows it's coach speak. How about but sometimes it's just the truth. Chuck Long in one of the closest Heisman races ever. He finished runner-up oh. to right. Bo Jackson. How'd that work out for Bo? Borgie, big play. Gain of 13. Joey, let's take another look quickly at Arlington's touchdown. And it's difficult to come into a team in the back half of a season and get on the same page with your receivers. This is a corner route beating a man-to-man -man coverage that's likely one of the corners that comes into the game getting beaten on the corner. We've seen likely now struggle, and it, it appears that they're going after number four when they're trying to go down the field, and that's the second time they've connected for a touchdown. Gain of 14 right. there for Borgia. They continue to ride McDonald. All in in the backfield. Quick shot to him. Tries to make a couple men miss. And a gain of two. The rebirth of the XFL. And Matt, you mentioned Chuck Long uh, playing at Iowa. Played with Bob Stoops, one yeah. of the Hayes brothers. I know. Th th these guys have known each other forever. They played together at Iowa. And now, all these years later, still friends, still coaching together, still in football. Really has been a family affair for the Stoopses at Iowa. Chuck Long, you mentioned him. 
I mean, he was a hell of a quarterback in college football. And here they are together. Go! All right. Calling ball plays up 20 to eight. McDonald gonna take a shot. Had Burnett overthrows him fourth down. What position do you think Coach Stoops played? He was a defensive back. He was a uh, corner. Scrappy fella. <laughs> you just get that out of him, too. Why does he have to be scrappy? Because he is. Uh, that, that's my answer. That's as scientific as I get with that. Uh. He was that guy in practice he hated to practice against because he was going full go all the time. I think we'd have won at him. <laughs> so Joe Powell bobbles it at his 10, able to fall on it. That is exactly an example of the ball bouncing your way. And early on, Joey Luis Perez, 9 of 10, 121 and three touchdowns. And he looks like he is definitely on the same page with these with his receivers. We talked to the offensive coordinators. How do you get a rhythm with your receivers? You come in the back half of the season, guys are worn out, guys are tired. They don't want to stay out later and get extra routes in. Coach told us they run the tops of the routes. They've done extra work, and you can tell it's paying off in this game. They look great through the first quarter and part of the second quarter. You're giving Perez all the credit. He tried to call a timeout. Breaking the huddle with 12 players offense. Five yard penalty, first down. So not a good start to this drive. And Joey, this is something to keep an eye on because what did Stoop say? We're fond of kicking ourselves. They've got a 20 to 8 lead right now. They are in control. All the momentum. That's it. Offense looks great. You do not want to make a mistake inside your own 10 yard line. We mentioned this Houston defense leads the XFL with five defensive touchdowns. You can't let them flip the momentum. That's Smith, and that is a good job getting some clearance from your own end zone. And a gain of six, Tavante Beckett, one of those Houston players who likes to score touchdowns defensively, had a pick six a week ago in this game. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Actually, they're gonna call a timeout. Houston's gonna call a timeout. So, Joe, you had heard me mention a second ago about how Perez is, is, is playing nearly a perfect football game. Yep. Well, he's done perfect in bowling numerous times. 12 perfect games, 300s in bowling. And I, I really wish I was a better bowler. This is impressive to me when they spin the ball and it looks like it's going to go in the gutter and it just comes Look at that right back in. How about that? Just spinning it. He says he wants to be a professional bowler when his football career is over because you can play, you can bowl until you're 50 plus. Or beyond. You got to go past 50 in bowling, I'd imagine. Easily. <laughs> and then when you get to that 75-year-old mark, you've definitely got your own bag and shoes. Can you make money at bowling? That's the question. Let's find out. Brady, hunt. Second and nine. Perez, boy, is he on How about the timing? Five. I he mean, is you look at the timing. It, this is his fourth start. That's how good this is. And I'll say this, Matt, and, and we, we've seen we've seen these games all season long. The level of play at the end of the season the XFL is absolutely incredible. Everyone has improved as the season has gone on, and you can see from a timing standpoint, that ball is out of Perez's hands. He's easy, K, 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 K. Fireball time. Third and one under center. First down, Renegades. Smith for five. Brought down by Ellerby. And not even close. That offensive line for Arlington is having an outstanding first half. And I know Eric McLean appreciates when the big fellas up front. Look, when you get to a yard past the line of scrimmage, you have not been touched by the defense. Your offensive line is doing a great job. Still two timeouts for the Renegades. Sure, it up. Clock continues to move. Perez sets his feet downfield, has Peyton. What a throw. 
Payton is getting behind this defense. Perez continues to sling it for a gain of 27. And I'm gonna say once again, what a great job this offensive line is doing. This is a DC defense that leads the XFL in sacks. And Perez is standing in the pocket, having a chance to look downfield. And his receivers, great job getting over. They're, they're getting open. They're finding holes in these zones. Go, and Perez go, go, go. is putting the ball on them. Houston has been so good defensively this year. Right now on their heels in the first half. Terrible, sit up. Already in territory. Perez again finds the spot to Caleb Vander Esch. You are seeing an absolute quarterbacking clinic hey, triple, triple, being put on hey, by skinny. Perez. Yeah, and doing it without triple, throwing triple. the ball to Sal Canella. Their leading receiver. You figure coming in this game, if they're going to be good offensively, and Perez is going to be good, it's getting the ball to Sal Canella. And that's not right, been the right case. Here. He is spreading this ball out. Here, 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 here we go. Seven players. Here, here, here we go. Terrible, sit up. Have caught a pass from Perez. Can he stay high? Over the middle. Vander Esch again. Caleb Vander Esch. Brought down by Beckett. Be ready for a saw. Be ready for a saw. Gotta go. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go. Hey. Arlington's wasting time here. Clock here we go. 30. Terrible, sit up. Two timeouts left. Try to take a shot at the end zone. Perez back shoulder incomplete. Intended for Winningham. Never mind running the clock down some here. I, I think you, you want to make sure that Houston does not get the ball back with a chance to score. So inside the red zone, inside the 15-yard line, I would take some time off the clock. Could Stoops have a challenge Come here. potentially here? Come here. Come here. Hey. Looked like if Winningham was held by Jane A. Harris. Come on. Come on. They're going to use a timeout. They've got two. You hey, got let me call. Hey, I thought you were gonna give you skinny. You see skinny? You see this? You called all good? Yeah, I gave you skinny. You didn't see it? It's okay. Before what? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. No, 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 I can, but the problem is I'm calling, I don't know where I'm going when I'm not. Like, so I gotta make sure. Hey, can we go? Can we go trio south? F jerk. Yeah, let's go. F, F jerk. F jerk. You want F jerk? Okay, okay. Oh, X not. Okay, perfect. Hey, listen up. Listen up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, who's the H? Who's the H? Who's the H? We don't have Speedy, so who's the H? We don't have Speedy, so who's the H? Okay. Come on. There is no debate about who is in charge of this offense right now. Why are you in? Why are you in? Go. He just called. What the fuck? You're good. You're good. No, no. Hey, there you go. Hey, gun, 10 feet right. 82. Duke. Uh, H nod. I'm ready. Gotta go. Gotta go. Duke, H nod. Hey. Perhaps hey. some confusion. Hey. Two rabbit. Two rabbit. Two rabbit. Play two clock rabbit. at two. Turbo, get up. Play gets off. Third and four. Vander Ash tries to get the first down, hey, hey, and he's going to get it. That was all Perez. Oh. Here the check. Yep. Got him out of the play they called in the timeout. Checked it, saw the blitz coming, and gets him a first down. With three seconds on the play clock. 30 seconds. Can we with? No, we don't. No, we can't. We, don't. Uh, we can't do it. Yeah, we can't. We have no timeouts. Hey, made, hey, coach. Coach. Made A be ready. It is fitting a player who's bounced around so many spring football leagues. It's okay. I'm going to give Sal a swirl. Hey, you said Hulk? Hulk, right? Uh, no, I might give you a swirl. To no, make the most of his trade. Fuck it, Duke. I know. 
Hey, hey, be ready for a swirl route. Go, you have to inside release. Hey, hey listen up. Come here, come here. Listen, listen, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. If the ball is caught inbounds, we have to run lateral out of bounds. We have time to spike it. Okay, yeah. We got a first down. We can spike it. Okay, here we go. Hey, listen up. Gun Hulk right. Two Jets. Duke, why skinny? I want ready. Look for my signals. Flat until I tell you. What access. This is incredible. Hey. Absolutely bounce. incredible. Bounce, bounce. First and goal. Bounce. Turbo tonight. Perez and this story continues to the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Vander Esch. Clock stops. Second and goal. He almost squeezed this yeah, in. Almost. A really tight window between a few guys. This is a quarterback playing with a lot of confidence. You try to make this throw, <laughs> I mean, that, that is a lot of confidence in your ability. And it almost got through. Yeah. Son, your arm's writing checks, your body can't cash. That is incorrect, though, with what hey, he's done in this first armor, half. Armor, armor. Play clock at two. Penalty flag. I'm checking the play. Penalty flag on the play. Illegal, Illegal snap. snap. Offense, number 64, five-yard penalty, still second down. So an illegal snap moves him back. Hey. And I think now you got to be thinking, we just have to come away with points. There you go. Don't try to get too cute. Make sure we get points going into the long room at halftime. Out of timeouts. Have to be mindful if you catch one in bounds to get and spike the clock to have an opportunity, spike the ball rather, to get a field goal before the time runs out. Second and goal. Pressure comes. Perez to the end zone. Intended for Winningham falls incomplete. You can tell Perez was thinking, don't take any chances here. Yeah. He threw the ball away. Let's get a field goal out of this. Let's make sure we get points. You got nine seconds. It's third down. That lets you know they're trying to be safe. They don't want to make any mistakes. A lot of teams would run one more play here, take one more shot at the end zone. But I think the way they played in this first half, they just want to make sure they get points to keep the momentum going in. 31-yard attempt for Taylor Rosalino, second best in the league. It makes, and he does good. To make it 23 to 8, five seconds left here in the second. The 2023 NFL Championship game, Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC. It's being played in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Tickets available starting at $25. Visit xfl.com slash tickets. I mean, who didn't expect this out of the Arlington offense? They, they, they've been saving it all for this moment. I mean, I could take inside our production meeting this morning. I, I believe I said they were going to score some points in the first half. And the struggles they've had, Joey, look, again, they scored five touchdowns the entire season. They're the worst offense in the XFL, right up until this game. Yet here they are. What have we talked about with this league? League of opportunity. Listen, you know you're going to play the whole game, so let's go. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, I got you. And at four and six, people are wondering, how's this happening? Well, Arlington's like, you know what? Hell with it. We got an opportunity to play postseason football, and we're going to make the most of it. And they have here in the first half, up 23 to eight. Borgie lets it go into his end zone. You know what? Is that the first touchback you and I have called all year? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Wind at his back, I think it might be. We don't, we don't get that often. Yeah, now it's time to draw up that uh, five seconds left in the first half play that can go 65 yards. You want on the ball? We're going turbo. Victory kneel down. All on, ready. Against the wind, you heard it. They're just going to take a knee. That's no fun. They get the ball ready, to start ready, the second half. Donald it. We are set up for a great second half. Houston's going to start with the ball. Max Borgie at his six. Cost is 20. 
Good special teams by the Renegades. That is Collins Schooler with the tackle. Hey, so, normal, no, no, you're up, you're up, you're up. Joey, it is clear to me now, A.J. Smith hey, and the Houston hey, we'll coach have decided it's a Cole McDonald time, game. Hey, I like playing football with you guys. I, hope you guys I know think that. they want to run the football. The and so Cole McDonald can give them the, the run game that they need while he can also execute all the pass Go! plays on the play right. sheet. So you mentioned the run, first play to Arlene. He gets a big carry, and Bryson Arlene brought down by Donald Payne. That's how you get it started for a game of 13. And you can see every That's single play when McDonald's Texas. in the game, the defense hesitates. Run like hell, Justin Smith, inside now. Oh, we got something fun coming here. One step and get out of there if he does. I mean, presses. Go! All right. Taking a shot to Justin Smith. Mistimed it, falls incomplete. Check that Tavon Salter. He went. Devontae Bosby on the coverage. You can see Arlington play a lot of man coverage on the back end. Jay has told us they went back, they watched Seattle, they watched San Antonio when they played against this Houston team, and they played them with a lot of man to man coverage, and they had success. So in this game, Arlington was going to play some man-to-man -man and do the same things that they've seen on film. Second and ten, that's McDonald, keeps it himself. Good game, brought down by Payne, gain of six. You would mention you have to account for the quarterback when he's a runner, Joe, and we, we talked about it in the first half, 6'3", 212. He's a big athlete. you got to make sure you keep eyes on Go! Run! Great, 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 great. Go! Right. Early third down, third and four. What a catch. Travell Harris, flag on the play. Powell and Carter team up to bring him down after a gain of 12. We'll check the penalty. What's the penalty, 10 yards? Yes. What's the number again? Two. Pass, Pass interference. Offense, number two, 10-yard penalty, replay third down. Joe, that's big. You got to fake that, that bump a little better than that. So every playbook has plays where receivers cross right. and you pick. Right. You have to fake it a little better than that. Bird didn't, Cedric Bird did not fake it well enough. No, that he negates, didn't fake it well enough. The act first like you're running a route. Just 12. slow down, act like you're running a route. Let him run right into you. Right. Makes it third and 14 from McDonald and Houston's <laughs> offense. First possession, second half. That's just not going to get it done from the get go. Arlene drops it. So the Arlington Renegades defense, first possession for them, they force a Houston punt. Hey, we're good. We're good. Let's go. We're driving. Hey, we're driving. We're making plays. We're driving to making plays. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hey. Hey, we're driving. We're driving. Hey, the only thing that's stopping us is penalties. Let's go. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. We're good. We're driving. We're driving. Good shit. Good shit. Hey, we're driving. Let's go. We're driving. The only thing is penalties, right? Let's clean it up. Hey, let's go. Hey, that's me. I was trying to give you a little jumper. Yeah, I beat him so bad, they got that. Okay, uh, that's me. Come back. That's me. I got it. I'm going to throw that nah, shit next good, time. You good, you good. I was trying to give you a little jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. We got to hit him. We're good, we're good. Let's do it. Hey, we're good. Hey, we're driving. Let's go. We're good. So while one good quarterback's good. trying to figure it out, Nicole McDonald. You good, you good. You good, baby. Luis Perez, he has it figured out. At that's least he did man. in the first half. See what he can do with the first possession for Arlington here. Ball at the 30-yard line. Here we go. Brady! Wait to hunt. Up 23 to 8. Devion Smith in the backfield. Nice spin move to get away from one defender. Couldn't do it twice. 
Brought down by Harris after a gain of one. That's a really good one-yard gain, and you don't say that very no, often. True. But it could have been a three-yard loss. You can see the aggressiveness of, of the Houston defense now. They know they're behind. They're no, they know they need to start playing more aggressive. And, and Smith, instead of losing two or three, getting the one was huge. Heflin was there to, for that loss and couldn't wrap him up. So second and nine. What did he do? With Hunt. Oh. Dropped the snap, composed himself to Smith. And again, what a great job by Devion Smith running back out of Michigan to use those feet to get six. Down to Tiffany. Hey guys, I was in the Roughnecks locker room at halftime and I heard defensive coordinator Brian Stewart tell his guys it's the playoffs. You guys think you're going to kick butt the whole time? He said sometimes the bully gets hit in the mouth, but now you got to grab some water, come back out here and turn this ish up. Smith, 62 yards, a season high. You see him on the sideline. He's been battling that ankle. Third and three. Perez the fake. Has Vander Esch. Oh, that was dangerous. John Brannon was staring at a pick. Falls incomplete. It's going to be a Renegades punt. Now, they get the stop. I, but what a, what a break by Brandon getting there. If he picks this ball off, I think we have a different ball game. When you're playing a, a team like Houston, not just slow down their offense, but don't let their defense gain momentum because that's where they get their energy from. If you're Arlington, take care of the football and don't let that defense start to tee off. And Joey, it was Marquette King set the punt. It's going to be interesting to see what adjustments each team made at the half. A nice effort there and a nice punt return by William Likely. Now we've got helmets off and a fight. Welcome back to Houston, guys. You mentioned it right before we went to break there. Smith running back here for Arlington, wincing in pain, heavy tape on that left ankle. I know, guys, he wants to go, but it just doesn't look great for that left ankle. Joe, you know all that explosion. Man, down low, that's a painful thing. Yeah, a lot of times it, it's trying to stop as a running back. You're trying to stop and change directions. That's when it puts a lot of pressure on an ankle. Hopefully he can get back in this game because he's been a key for that run game. And that offensive line blocking it where they are. They need Smith to finish this out. Five TDs in the last three games for Smith. He is pivotal. Here's Borgie on first down. Brought down by Donald Payne, one of the best defensive players. Flag on the play. Officials going to try to get this thing in hand. And it looks as if it's going to be on 53, yeah. Darnell Sankey. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 53. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. You saw Darren Evans get mad at his teammate. It's like, man, we are in control. Keep your head. Really? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm with you. What do you do, push him too hard? Up. No! You can't call that! I agree with Stoops. I'm kind of with Stoops on that one, yep. Oh, all right. First and 10, Borgie. Met immediately by Armington's defense. For those of you who would like to watch the Skycast of tonight's game with Skycam as the primary angle, plus replays from the main broadcast, that version is available on ESPN+. We have rolled out every camera and nook and cranny we can for these playoffs to give you the best experience of the XFL postseason. Go! Oh! Right. Second and six. McDonald the play fake. Gonna take a shot. Winds up. Incomplete. Intended for Smith, Devontae Bosby dove for it, Joe, and had a chance to pick it off. And how about the confidence in Jay Hayes and his defense and going man-to-man -man coverage? He believes his guys on the back end can cover this Houston offense and these receivers, and he's playing man-to-man, -man, and these guys are proving him right so far. And it's allowing them to be more aggressive at the line of scrimmage. If you're going man-to-man -man on the back end, you can bring those safeties down. You can be aggressive with those linebackers. It's working out for Arlington so far. Jay Hayes, the defensive coordinator. His brother, John Hayes, the right. offensive coordinator. Third and six. McDonald, shot to the sideline. Houston wants a flag. They don't get it. The block on Bandy. 
Now remember, you have one challenge for anything in the XFL. You can challenge anything you want. One of the best rules in this league. Have a look if this is worth challenging. No. I think it's just incidental contact. Everybody just kind of really good up. coverage. That's it. It's called blanket. That is a blanket coverage on the back end. They've been really good man coverage in this game. Balls out. Recovered by Houston. Could that be the momentum we need in this game? is a fumble recovered by the kicking team first down. So that was Tyler Vaughn's in to return the punt. And the fumble recovery by Brian Corey. The snapper. Joey, that's the break Houston needed because they haven't been able to do anything. Can they take advantage? Go. Both oh, quarterbacks in on this play. Silvers, McDonald, fake reverse. Here comes the trick. All time to run. And McDonald's going to get a big gain on first down and get a first down, gain of 13. Now it's tough to run a trick play when the other team's playing man to man coverage. Because you're not fooling anybody. They're not looking in the backfield to find out who you fake the ball to. They're running with their man. That's great coverage on the back end. And a nice play by McDonald getting a first down, but it's tough to run those kind of plays when the team you're going against is just playing man-to-man -man coverage. What a sequence. Right. Houston gets the special team's turnover. Borgie takes it up the middle. They have a little pep brought down by Donald Payne. Here's a look at that trick, Joe. Yeah, both quarterbacks in the game's first time we've seen this. It's a fake reverse. Here comes McDonald around edge. Again, the guys are playing man-to-man -man coverage. So they didn't even see what happened in the backfield. <laughs> They're chasing their receiver. Go, go, go! Go! Right. Jeremy Cox in the backfield scored the first touchdown of the game for Houston. He gets it up the middle. And I tell you what, that Arlington defensive front has been very stout today. That one led by Bruce Hector. Yeah, they've been very good up front. They've been very good on the back end. If you're Arlington defensively, you've done a terrific Hard job. Yeah, you go. have to let's keep them tired. out of let's the go. end zone and don't allow we're this to turn into a huge momentum swing. Blue, Blue F Comet on 101, ready. Again, Silvers has been the starter all season. They saw something out of Cole McDonald Whoa. a week ago when he played right. the entire game. Has to pull it down, and he's brought down. That was Hector again. I can't say enough how good they've been on the back end playing man-to-man -man coverage. Coach told us they they were going to play some man in this game. They've seen Seattle, they've seen San Antonio do it. They went back and watched that film and figured out it was the man coverage that slowed down this Houston offense, and Arlington is executing it perfectly. A loss of seven on third down, so Austin Jones going to come out to try to get some points off the turnover and a field goal attempt of 32 yards. And he curves that one in. Our ball spotter, Jason Labordi, he gets to hold it. It's windy conditions. That's two touchbacks in the game. Kicking rules. Trying to make that to where we get some kick returns in a couple of those tonight. We've also seen Arlington play football offensively the best they've done all year, Joey. Yeah, I think it's that top number, they're averaging 14.6, which is worst in the XFL in points per game. And tonight they have 23. And you know, this is this is a lot of offense on this board, but defensively, to hold Houston to a field goal in that situation, that is a great job defensively. Keep the momentum. Now they have to get back to doing what they did in the first half. Devion Smith back in. He keeps taping up that ankle and playing through it. He knows what's at stake. Perez. Out of the backfield to Smith, and he just drops it. 
So I, I had mentioned John Hayes, the offensive coordinator, Jay Hayes, the defensive coordinator. They are brothers. Right. And you know how good our access is in this league. Well, John on the left got caught cussing on camera. Three week. Jay called mom and said, Mom, it wasn't me. It was John that was caught cussing during the live broadcast. So John had to call mom and apologize for using the bad word on television. That's Vaughn's big play, Arlington and Vaughn. John not cussing there because he dialed up a good one and Perez takes advantage, gain of 25. Here go the Renegades. Once again, keeping this Houston defense on its heels. The play fake, because they ran it so well, because they gained 80 yards of rushing in that first half, the defense of Houston has to respect that play fake opening up the slant behind the linebackers. Joey, what if I told you Sal Canella one catch for 10 yards and it's 23-11 Arlington. Oh, that's a big football hit. C.J. Brewer just leveled Devion Smith. Uh, that's Brewer believing that the handoff was going to happen. It was a play fake to, to play before. This time, he's selling out. He's doing it. This is assignment football. I'm going to make sure I close down this gap. Hey. Terrible, sit up. <laughs> Second and ten. Pocket clean. Downfield. Caught. No, ruled it incomplete. <laughs> winning hand. I was so used to the big play for Arlington tonight. Don't miss the 2023. XFL North Division Championship game tomorrow, three Eastern D.C. Defenders and Seattle three Sea Dragons, 3 p.m. Eastern ESPN. Hey, hey, ESPN. Hey, Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt, you're my guy. And you're one of the best that I've ever worked with because I only work with, like, one guy ever. But the ball was already on the ground when you yelled caught. Yeah, and you know what? I was, <laughs> yeah. Look, I get one mulligan. That's a false start on third and ten. Offense, number 70. Five-yard penalty, still third down. <laughs> I get one dollar. Here it is. No, see, look, it was caught. No, no. That's what I called it. By the time you I yelled called, caught, no, 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 no. everybody saw the no, ball on I the was, ground. I, I didn't see it scored out I know, the back. I know. Did, you know what? I'm taking my mulligan back. That was a catch. Until it wasn't. Third and 15. It's a big turning point here. Houston got the turnover, got the field goal. Now they've got him pinned. Third and 15. Play clock at two. Snap off. Perez. Downfield. Receiver slips. I don't know who was supposed to do what. Flag on the play for now to Vander Esch. 15 Count yards. Count out of legal contact. Number 28. Vander Esch. Flag the 28. The play gave us the first down. Play gave us the first down. So we're going to decline it. We got illegal contact. 28. Illegal contact. Defense. Number 28. The penalties decline. The result of the play is a first down. How about that conversion? See, a lot of times in football, the difference between teams that win games and teams that lose games are these kind of plays. When things aren't going the way they're supposed to go, you got a guy falling down. Who knows if that ball was even going to Vander Esch. But they converted a third and long, and they keep the football now to the 30-yard line. And they have to finish it off. But those are the kind of plays that winning teams make. There's six of eight on third down today. That's the longest conversion of the afternoon. Perez going to take a shot. Has a player incomplete intended for Vaughn. As good as Perez has been, that throw, you have to at least keep it inbound to give your guy a chance. It's a great play call. Love the timing. Love the situation. They've seen the man-to-man -man coverage. The stop and go hey, is a perfect play call. You have to give your guy a chance. Vaughn's had his guy beat. Is Raleigh Tejada on the coverage. Now just lay it out there. Keep it in. Oh, that was six. Break for Houston's defense. Turbo, it up. Second and ten. The draw. Good play call. They've been passing it so well today. Caught him just a little bit. They gain a six for Smith. Let's go. Gun trips. 
trips right. Gun trips right, three jet Duke, X skinny. Hey, hey, gun triple right, three jet Duke, X skinny on top right. Skinny, you got flat. If they away. gained no yards from here, it'd be a 42 yard Zero. field goal. Third and four. Hey, turbo, sit up. Perez, time, flag. And he's going to be forced out of bounds, almost certainly going to be holding. DeAndre Johnson pushed him out. The, the runner is out of bounds before the line to gain, so it's either going to be fourth and short or replay third down. Let's get the choice from the coach. Jim, 77 or 73? Holding. 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 Offense. 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 Number seven. For 73. Ten yard penalty. Replay third down. So, Joey, they elect to replay Interesting. it. Interesting. I think that I thought the same thing. Yeah, well, I, I think the thinking is to try to push them out of field goal range. I mean, you're in a game that you're down 12. Uh, it, it's about to go to the fourth quarter. Uh, the points right now are probably more important. So they're thinking, let's be aggressive. I wouldn't be surprised if they send a blitz here, because if they get a sack, it pushes them back even further. They're trying to get them out of field goal range. Russellino has made a 56-yarder this season. Third and 15, they just converted on third and 15. Can they do it again? No, wrapped up, tackle John Daka. Big sack for the Roughnecks. And it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly for Houston and what they were trying to do. You take the penalty, you could have forced the fourth down, but you take the penalty to push them back. And then with a defense that leads the XFL in sacks, you go after the quarterback, you get a sack, and you force a punt as opposed to a field goal attempt. Lead the league in sacks. That's their first of the night. So here's Marquette King, who just released his newest single, Grind. True story. He's a man of many talents. And that punt was just missed it. Likely still going to return it. Access continues to be unparalleled oh. here in the XFL. Oh. Start of the fourth quarter. Houston has work to do down 23-11. Quick pass to Cedric Bird. Minimal gain for four. So this betting line started at Houston, favored by seven and a half at kickoff. Point total at 41. Joey at halftime, it flipped to six and a half Arlington. That is a 13-point swing in the half by the halftime. I believe the point spread by the way by halftime. That's Burnett in first down. Yeah, and I, I think everybody, including Vegas, is surprised by the way this Arlington offense has played. Perez has been almost perfect in that first half, and now they just have to they just have to hold serve. They're up 12. They just can't let the momentum swing to a point where Houston can get on a roll. They just have to stay where they're at right now and pull this off. That was a gain Go! of seven. Right. Incomplete. Justin Smith jumped before he caught it. Give me this. Give me trips right. Trips right. And let's go. You give this action. Red. Too hot for you. Z slide. Red Z slide. Trips right, red. Trips right, red. I want to. Go! Hard. Second and ten for McDonald. Quick shot, good read. Michael Bandy there. Devontae Bosby. He, Joey, he was making a read on that. Lucky didn't get picked off, but there immediately for the tackle, bringing up a third down and a loss. Yeah, for Arlington one. was sitting back in the zone, and and I think that. You know, when Silvers was looking at the defense, he was assuming that the corner would be gone. And he cuts this ball loose, and Bosby almost broke one this and gets an interception, but he makes Go. a terrific hit. Right. McDonald's still at quarterback, third and 11. Pressure comes, McDonald can run, that's why he's in. McDonald's gonna get the first down and more. Lowers his shoulder on Evans. And that's the kind of play, Joey, that can get your team going when your quarterback lowers his shoulder for 19. And we talked about the size of McDonald. He's 6'3", 212. Evans sees him coming. Yeah, 
Evans is 178 pounds, and I think McDonald said, I'm going to make you pay for this. We've been frustrated as an offense, and the best way to take Ooh. out frustration is run someone over. Let's see if they can oh. jumpstart the offense. Been a little stalled tonight. McDonald quick dropped. Deontay Burnett, uncharacteristic mistakes out of these receivers. They just don't look like they have a rhythm going. They, they're, all of their passes are five yards, maybe 10 yards. They haven't hit anything down the field. From a rhythm standpoint, the offense just does not look like it's clicking for Houston. Are you surprised they haven't gone back to Silvers? I mean, it's been Cole McDonald since really the midway through the first quarter. I think when we sat down yeah. and talked to A.J. Smith, he felt really good about McDonald and the way he no. could operate this offense because he can run all, right. all of the plays. I think that has something to do with him staying in this game. Hit hard. Willie Taylor. I mean, you heard the hit. Bring it up third down again. A.J. Smith's play sheet Hard. has a block of plays that only McDonald is in for. And those are his plays, and Silvers can't run them. But the entire play sheet, McDonald can run. Right. So I think it just gives you more options. Four for ten on third down tonight. Go. And the Renegades are going to use a timeout. Their first of the half. Eleven thirteen here in the fourth quarter. You saw Coach Hayes look at his unit. It was Jay, and he's like, "Relax. Let's listen into Houston." Yeah, I know. Right, here's a little deep. Wanna go out enough? Hell yeah. Let's go out enough. You're gonna stick it and roll it. Is there a time when a receiver doesn't think they're wide open? Deontay Burnett said, I'm wide open. Yeah, whoa, well, I mean, make a good pass and, and we catch it and that yeah, means wide open. Big but, he, but he does want an out and up. He's, at, he's asking for a double move. Check, check, Arlington is playing a lot of man to man coverage on the back end and doing it very well. So a receiver's asking for a double move to sort of create some separation. He's at the top of your screen. Slow, set, 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 he's set. Got his man to himself. Let's see if McDonald set, 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 set. pays it off. Third Go. and ten. All right. Pressure comes. McDonald to Bird. Incomplete. Craven LeBlanc has had a nice afternoon. And Joey. Perez and the Arlington offense getting all the credit, but this defense came to play. Wow, that's an incredible play. Last moment, get you in. See, people get upset when defensive backs keep their eyes on the receiver and the ball, they don't see the ball. That's a terrific play because he kept his eyes on the receiver until the last moment. When the receiver looked, he looked, and LeBlanc made a nice play, get his hand on that ball. Joe Powell at his 10. A fair catch. You have to think run here. Three running backs in the backfield. That's exactly what they do. Keep it on the ground with Smith. Didn't fool Houston. Brought down by Ellerby. Joey, they're trying to shorten this game here. Ten minutes left from pulling off a monumental upset in the South Division Championship game. Bryant showed option, keeps it. First down, Renegades. Sal Canella. Huge, huge first down. And Canella hasn't gotten a lot of work he in hasn't. this game. And Perez has been terrific. And coming in, you'd assume that Canella would have a lot of catches, but he hasn't in this game. But that one is big. Interesting story about Canella. Grew up a huge fan of fashion. He was always the best ca dressed kid at church. Started to wear different clothes. His mom's like, Sal, if you're going to be so fashion forward, I'm not going to buy you clothes. You're going to have to learn to sew your own clothes on my sewing machine. So he did. Learned to make his own clothes. Now has his own clothing line. He said his goal in life was to play football and own a fashion line. 
and he's done that. It must be good stuff because it's expensive. Like how it is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. Yeah, it must be great material. Like how it sat in there. I don't have any, but it looks very nice. <laughs> he just started making clothes with a sewing machine, and now what the? I mean, the stuff looks very nice. It does. And he calls it designer streetwear. For the higher income crowd. Played his college ball at Auburn after a stint in community college. So not 180, where's Hunt? Second and five. What a grab by Javante Payton. Not only does he make the catch, he gets some yak. Hendy brings him down and a gain of 13. That's when you know things are going your way. Yeah, and this is what they didn't do all season long. This is why they averaged 14 points, because they didn't make these kind of plays. And right now they are clicking. And I think a lot of this has to do with uh, this is Perez's fourth start. And so again, you come to a team in the back half of the season when things are already set, things are already going in a certain direction, and you have to sort of change that. You have to be a great leader to change that. And I think it's starting to see, you're starting to see the work that he's put in working with these guys, and this offense is now clicking. And Smith's gonna take advantage of the pass, loosening up that defense. The team of my youth out west playing late. Second and four. Now they go to the ground. Chauncey Rivers on the tackle. And a big third down in this game. Joey Hayes is brought in what they call the elephant personnel on third and one. Hey, we're good, we're good. Houston needs a stop. Houston gets a stop. That never makes sense to me. And, and, and Eric McLean, this might make sense to you, but I don't understand. You've had success with your base package in the game. You've been able to run the ball for first downs with that base package in the game. Why change that? Why go to something different on a third and short, and then they bring in their heavy package? Exactly. That, that's exactly what happens. Instead of just spreading it out, you have the numbers, everything you feel good. Now you condense everything, and look, Look, what Houston's been able to do all year long is stop that when people do that. I'm with you, Joey. I don't like it at all. Tavante Beckett came up with the play. King the punt to Likely. Fair catch at the 20. Came up aggressively on that one. That's a great job by Likely. How can this defense help to get this team back on track in this game? Uh, it's just important to get an offense more opportunities. Uh, five minutes, 22 seconds left. So quick three and out, get an uh, offense more uh, chances to score the ball. And at, in this situation, that's the best. Best uh, thing for us to do is just try to get the ball into the offense as much as we can. And here they go, taking a shot. It's intercepted. Devontae Bosby. Could that have sent Arlington to the championship game? Arlington has created a turnover in every game they've played in this season. How impressive has this defense been? They lead the XFL in interceptions, and their defense comes up big. This isn't the time to take that shot because now their defense is realizing, hey, we're up 12, there's five minutes left. They have to take these shots. Great play on the back end and great defensive call. Joey, this team, seven and a half point underdogs, came into this game having lost four of their last five. No momentum to speak of. Coach Stoops said they got a puncher's chance. There are people who thought at four and six, they don't even belong in the playoffs. And here they are on the doorstep of winning the South Division Championship. Auto, 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 auto. Here we go. In a league built on second Fair, chances, up. Arlington's getting theirs in the playoffs. Smith on first down, tackled by Trent Harris. Just the beginning of XFL playoff weekend. If tomorrow's anything like today, buckle up, Seattle and D.C., 3 Eastern ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus. Injured players, Trent Harris. Was it at 25 when they stopped? I can go very, it was at 25 when we shut it. Defense coordinator Brian Stewart told us when he was at D.C. with the Cowboys, they had the same situation. They beat the Giants twice in regular season, played them in the playoffs, 
and got smoked. And so he was nervous about this yes. very situation. That beating a team three times in a season is tough to do because your players believe that the same thing that happened the first two times is going to happen the third time, and Wade, it never happens. Wade, so 13 and three that year, number one seed in the NFC. And that was the infamous Cabo trip for the Dallas Cowboys. Look at that fella. Uh, attendance tonight, 13,568 strong. Look at those meatheads. That's exactly what I guessed. I mean, this, is, this has been a heck of a crowd. They've been treated to a heck of a football game, even though uh, we're at Houston and their team hasn't been the same, but a great crowd and a great game. A big thanks to all 13,568 in attendance tonight. And a big thanks to all the fans across the XFL who have come out and supported their teams throughout the season. That was Smith brought down by Mason. And now these Roughnecks fans, rather, hoping for a miracle here with 420 left. Third and three, Joey. Yeah, and they're hoping for a stop right here. And, and if you're Arlington, keep your base package out there. The, the clock runs, whether it's, it's a run or a pass, so that you know, with the rules in the XFL, if it's incomplete pass, the clock still runs and, instead of, unless it's inside two minutes. So that's not a concern here. You can go either one, but this is a huge play for both sides. Gotta go. Turn, Can Perez put it away? He takes it with his feet. And Luis oh, Perez, that could be an additional 15. Stop, stop, stop. No flag oh, thrown. I'm actually really surprised there wasn't a flag thrown on that. He's got the right to challenge it. And there's an injured player for Houston. But how fitting Perez picks up the biggest third down of the game by himself. Oh, AJ, come on, man. <laughs> you heard that exchange. Between Perez looks at AJ Handy. He's like, AJ, come on. And Perez is thinking. I got another game to play. They're thinking we got to close this out. Three minutes and 33, 36 seconds left. Warner yes, Birds are yes, winning yes. this thing. I'm surprised Stoops isn't challenging. I'm going to take advantage of this with Dean Blandino. So, Dean, if Stoops were to challenge us, what would you do? We're setting it up. To me, line, it is a foul. I do believe that it was an early slide. And we're always asking our ball carriers, especially our quarterbacks, to get down early. I thought Perez did. And the defender wasn't committed, and it was forcible contact. So if Coach Stoops did challenge, we would add the foul. Okay. Dean, thank you. We don't have too many in the huddle, do we? See, this is interesting. Say there's someone at home that has Coach Stoops' phone number. <laughs> Shoot him a text. No, 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 no. Hey, That's what, that, you, know that happens, you know that happens in golf? Well, where it's the guy short. in his couch calls it can it a happen penalty. In football. That's what's good about the XFL. Smith. Three minutes left in this game. Arlington close to staying in Texas for the championship May 13th in San Antonio. Wade has three timeouts, elects not to use them ahead of the two minute warning. Come on, 92 auto. Gotta go. Auto, 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 gotta go. Terrible, sit up. Important part for Smith. He's going to be able to heal up should they advance the next couple of weeks on that ankle. He's played tough throughout the night. All right, so there's Houston's first timeout. You know, Joey, in the offseason when we were prepping, getting ready to start XFL, and, and, and the owners and our chairwoman, Danny Garcia, and, and, and Dwayne Johnson, DJ, and they, they, they always talked about how it's important for, for second chance opportunities. Don't you just find it so fitting that this is Arlington, four and six, no one's giving them a chance coming to this one. Basically, no one giving a lot of these players a chance in football. Yet here they are, two minutes and 26 seconds away from doing what yes. no yeah, one thought they could do, which is play for the championship. Yeah, and deservedly so. They only won one out of the last five games. So it's not like people were, they, they didn't have the feeling of we're being disrespected. 
Yeah, they you're won under 500. One last, yeah, they won one out of the last and five games. And hadn't beaten this team twice. But this goes to show you what happens when, you see, in this league, the, the special part is the group of coaches in the XFL have done everything you can imagine. They, they're, they're accomplished. They've seen everything. So these guys know how to navigate their teams and these players through these kind of situations. Even when it doesn't look good, they know all we need to do is go out and do our job. The whole is that a catch? Go ahead and say, now you can say it, Matt. Earlier, you jumped in. LeJuan was, Winningham. That's the catch right. of the season in the XFL with what's at stake. Luis Perez put that on his shoulder, and that puts Arlington playing for a championship in the XFL. That is unbelievable. And the reason you didn't know it was a catch was look at the reaction by Winningham after this happens. He literally catches this ball and then just gets up like, huh? 180. Houston calls their second timeout. Danny Garcia, our chairwoman and owner, down on the field signing some autographs. Our thanks to Danny and DJ, Jerry Cardinal and the ownership group. What a great season it's been for them. Everything they've done to support us, support the fans in the league. The story of when Danny called DJ and said, like, do you want to buy the XFL? DJ didn't even let the sentence finish. He says yes. Why didn't she call us? I know. We could have chipped in. Got <laughs> <laughs> some extra money laying around. We could have Venmo him something. We could have Dean. We could have been uh, Dean Blandino's boss. <laughs> some say you now, have. Now been. that would have been fun. <laughs> hey, Joe, you're talking about buying the XFL. You can't even afford Canela's clothing. Just, just, just a piece. What are we doing? Just a piece. Yeah, he's trying to buy a Canela sock. <laughs> uh, Danny Garcia. She'll be a part of the trophy presentation following the game, as will our Tiffany Blackman. Got here early today to rehearse for that. Looking forward to Girl, seeing the up. presentation. Second and goal. Before the game, I was I was talking to John Hayes down on the field, and, and I was asking him, I was just asking him, what are you going to do when the season is over? Oh, this is a good answer. And he looked at me like, hey, there's another game. He thought I was saying, they're going to lose this game, and then where's he going to go to? And I literally was like, hey, coach, I mean, when the entire season is over. Yeah, the way it he like looked he at knew you. Something. Yeah. yeah, it's like he knew and hey, felt hey. good about the way they were going to play and was like, hey, man, no, this no. ain't over. I've got three more weeks. We're going to kick out our roommates at our hotel that we've been living with Houston for 10 plus weeks. We're going to kick them out. We're going to have them pack our bags. And then Joey will get to Cincinnati after yeah. that. Then heading back up to the great state of Ohio. OH? Yeah. Not. You didn't say I. Uh, yeah, that's because you're a oh. sun devil. <laughs> <laughs> Third and goal. Smith. Burned down, right? If that was a. No, third and goal. I don't know why they hey, think they've got right? a first down. It's a fourth and goal. Houston out of timeouts. Arlington will let are, this run are, all the way down. They'll bang their time out. Get some points. No, 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 no. Time out. All right, so a field goal. Makes this 26-11. Yeah. Yeah, then they can't kick the long field goal. And they get a couple of two-point conversions and Minute seven left. The over under 41 uh, looked like it was in trouble early. And then uh, we expected two really good defensive football teams. And then the second half, they slowed down the scoring. And you might be feeling pretty good at that 41 on the over under that the game began with. 11 points, the lowest total of the season for Houston. Let's go. Let's go, man. Rissolino on for a 19-yard attempt. Chip shot up and good. This really has been an incredible game, an incredible evening 
and execution by a team that Joey candidly, we didn't give a chance. No, and we talked about extensively how bad their offense has been uh, and how well they've played. And I don't know that we've given enough credit to what the defensive side is, has done. You just mentioned Houston just having the 11 points so far. But defensively, man, have they executed a game plan on that defensive side of the football, playing the man-to-man -man coverage on the back end, uh, Jay has told us that they've seen a lot of film. They, they watched Seattle, they watched San Antonio. They had a game plan in watching how those teams were successful with man-to-man -man coverage, and they've come out and they've executed it on the defensive side uh, as well as they did it on the offensive side. 26 points ties the season high in points for Arlington. I've given you the stats all night. They've only scored 12 touchdowns this season. That's least in the XFL. They only had five touchdowns through the air. And it's been a completely different team tonight. 419 total yards. Borgie running start, it is 10. Brought down by Darnell Sankey. So this championship game number one in the south tomorrow, championship game number two in the north. The Seattle Sea Dragons got in by a tiebreaker a week ago. They'll take on the D.C. Defenders, who for most of the season, Joey, have been the best team in the league record-wise. They really have, and, and, they've, and they've been fun to watch. And, and I've said this earlier, it's amazing when you've watched this, this league and this season, how good the football has become. And these teams have only improved as the season has gone along. And this kind of game right here, as surprised as we are that Arlington has played this well, I guess we shouldn't really be surprised because of this coaching staff and what they've been through and what they've done. It's not a surprise to see Coach Stoops, the Hayes brothers, Chuck Long, get a team to play this kind of football. A sack there and a loss up, of four. Loosen up, loosen up a little. Get out of bounds. Another funny exchange pregame. <laughs> Talking to Bob Stoops, I was like, you guys gonna open it up today or what? And you laughed and Coach Stoops laughed. He's like, yeah, we have to. Yeah, that's because he would love to have opened it up every game. They just didn't have the ability to do so. Drew Plitt started the season as quarterback for Arlington. March 28th, the trade for Luis Perez that is ultimately gonna be the reason that they're in the championship game. Fourth down and 11. McDonald's got to make a play. Oh, wow. Deontay Burnett. How many great catches in one game can we have? Oh. How about the receiver showing out for Joey Galloway? I think Burnett deserves a spot in top plays. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Come on. 17 seconds left. I'm going to look at this. Full extension by Burnett, played his college ball at USC. Darren Evans couldn't believe it. He thought he had an interception. It looked like an interception when McDonald threw oh, that up. Evans is sitting there with both hands out like this ball is coming right to me. Wade Phillips and this team, they won every game against division opponents this year in the South. Four and one at home. They've beaten this team twice by an average of 12 and a half points. And today the Arlington Renegades are gonna eliminate his team from the playoffs. Incomplete. Fourth down coming, likely the final play of the game. The sidelines are going to be partying now. They've got the championship T-shirts out. They're handing out the T-shirts. 
McLean is not getting one for us. This really is an improbable ending to a season at four and six. Joey, you can't candy coat it. It hasn't been great. Let's go. One more game. One more game. No, right? they won one of their Woo! last five. Let's go, and they're playing for they the limped in here. They're playing for the <laughs> XFL championship. Pass incomplete from four and six to XFL championship game. The Arlington Renegades have won the South Division.